So before we start learning about uh, determinants of higher order and how to evaluate them, I uh, want to cover two concepts before that. So the first one is minor. And a minor, say MJK, is a determinant of the order n minus 1, all right, which is nothing but the determinant of the submatrix of A and is obtained by deleting the jth row and the kth column. So let's say if I were to evaluate M11, all right, so what I'll do is that I'll actually uh, eliminate the first row, that is this row, and the first column, that is this column, all right? And so then I'll be left with a determinant of order n minus one. So it will be a22, a23, a2n, and then a32, a33, a3n, and an2, an3, dot dot, dot ann. All right, so uh, let's take one more example to make it super clear. So let's say if I were to evaluate another minor, let's call it M21. So this will be a sub matrix obtained from the matrix A by removing the second row and the first column. So you will get rid of this particular row, the second row and the first column that is this column all right so then what you will be left with is uh, a12 a13 dot 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 a1n and since you eliminated the second row we'll have a32 a33 dot 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 a3n and then a n 2 a n 3 dot 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 a n n all right so hopefully this it, this makes it clear you know how to calculate a particular minor m j k now and another interesting concept that we want to learn is called cofactor cofactor this is a c <laughs> So a cofactor C J K is nothing but minus one to the power J plus K into M J K. So we already have learned how to calculate M J K, right? So now if we wanted to calculate, let's say C one one. So C one will C one one will be equal to minus one raised to the power one plus one into m11 and this will be just m11 okay let's say if you wanted to calculate c21 c21 will be equal to minus 1 raised to the power 2 plus 1 into into m21 and this will be equal to minus m21 okay so hopefully again you uh, get the general idea that uh, the cofactors and minors differ only by the negative sign which is placed before the minor okay so now we now talk about how to calculate the determinant of any order any order n so the determinant can be written like so d is equal to a j1 into c j 1 plus a j 2 into c j 2 plus dot 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 a j n into c j into c j n where of course g j can be 1 2 3 till n so j can be any any one of the values all right so let's say if if I wanted to calculate the determinant, this determinant of nth order, right? I'll, and let's say if I chose j equal to 1, and I can choose j as any number, j as 1, 2, 2, and any number. So let's say if I chose j as 1, so determinant would be a11 into c11 plus a12 
into into c12 plus dot 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 plus a1n into c1n so essentially what i'm trying to do here is that i am expanding this determinant or calculating this determinant along this first row so i take the first element that is a11 okay and then and then uh, find the minor m11 which is nothing but the uh, determinant of the sub matrix obtained by removing the row or the column in which this a11 element appears all right so and then and then i'll then i will add then i will add a12 into c12 so a12 is the second element in the first row so what do you do is that you multiply a12 with the cofactor with the cofactor which is obtained by eliminating uh, the row and the column that is this row and this column in which this element a12 appears okay so so we saw that uh, the determinant can be obtained by uh, by by doing row wise expansion right you can choose any row and the same is also true for column also so determinant can also be written like so so it can be a1k into c1k plus a2k into c2k plus dot 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 ank into cnk where again k can be uh, any number from 1 to n so if you were to find out the determinant in this fashion so what you'll do is that uh, you will uh, let's say you decide to set k as 2 here okay so that is this k is equal to 2 so now you expand the determinant along the second column all right so let me choose a different ink color so what you will do is that you will actually choose a12 a12 and multiply it with the cofactor which is obtained by eliminating all the rows and the columns in which uh, this element a12 appears so you will get rid of the first row and the second column all right so this becomes c12 then actually you move on to the second element of the uh, of this row this is a22 so a22 and then you uh, find out the uh, cofactor which is obtained by eliminating the row and the column in which a22 appears right which is the second row and the second column so this is c22 and so on and so forth okay and so what is very interesting about this definition is that uh, you can actually uh, calculate you can actually express the determinant of 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 nth order in terms of uh, summation of determinants of order n minus 1 and you can keep on doing it so let's say if now you were to actually find out and let's say if you wanted to find out what m11 is you can use the same trick you can use this trick right to obtain uh, or to express m21 which is another un which is again a determinant and this is of order n minus 1 in determinants of order n minus 2 right and you can keep on doing so till n becomes 2 that is the order of the determinant becomes 2 and we know how to calculate the determinant of uh, of second order right we know that a determinant of second order let's say a b c d is equal to a into d minus b into c so this is slightly hairy and probably you might have to relook at this lecture a few times to understand what's really going on with all the minors and cofactors but uh, uh, but once you actually really understand it it's quite easy so all right so in the next lecture we will look at the application of this trick and uh, we'll also use this trick to again uh, uh, solve a linear system of equation using using Kramer's rule